The Efficient Workplace program is a support program that's designed to identify food safety risks, uh, wastes and hazards, and help customers eliminate those. We launched it about a year ago and we decided to have a live customer experience. So we basically cold called a customer, in this case Teagle Foods, and asked if we could go through the process with them. Teagle's a chicken business. We're always looking at how we can do things better. I got contacted through head office, through the procurement team, and they said these guys from Kimberly Clark want to come in and do an audit. We went through what we call a pre-pitch statement. We told them uh, what we do and how we could assist their business and asked if we could present the concept to their key decision makers, and they agreed. The initial presentations, uh, I could see there's some really good ideas and then the project just grew, got a life of its own. The walk is really, I guess, the key to this program. What we do is a group of us walk through the facility and had a look at all the different areas and how their process interacts with consumables management. They were people within Kimberly Clark's group that were experts in their field and they took photos and asked heaps of questions. And then they came back with honest feedback in terms of stuff that they saw we were doing well and things that we weren't doing so well. We noticed that they were using products that aren't considered best practice in food manufacturing environments. We were using white paper towels for people entering high key areas. Bits of it were falling on the ground, it was costing us a lot of money and we, were, uh, we had people wasting product. So we converted them across to blue. Blue is more appropriate for food manufacturing, it's easy to see. Putting in high capacity systems meant that the dispensers stayed loaded longer, there was less time required to refill them and less inventory required to be stacked in inappropriate places. They're using our hard roll towel system for drying hands. They're also using some of our X50 wipers for wiping up just general spills. And we also changed them over to a high capacity jumbo roll toilet tissue system. We had some old stickers and all sorts of different things about even just how to wash your hands. Kimberly Clark helped use um, some of our material, incorporated it into their template, and came up with something which is bold and bright and easy to see. In terms of behavioral change, we needed to change the habit of using a lot of paper. One training that we did was a hand hygiene training. Not only did some of our staff have fun and enjoy the presentations, it made a difference, and our customers noticed that too. It wasn't just, we're going to give you some stuff and see you later and that's going to fix it. It's like, this is a partnership and we've got some people who will help you. So the next step here is uh, deep dives, picking a specific area where they want to improve that we can help. And then with that area, uh, we work with Tigo and provide them that continuous improvement. Pretty happy, really. There's been quite a change. It's when you say Kimberly Clark in the management meeting, people don't go, OK, what's next? I'm looking forward to next stage now too. I'm sure we continue to make some good changes. Yeah.